Raina Greenberg and Ashley Hesseltine are a comedic duo known as Girls Gotta Eat. Their podcast has become a top comedy podcast on iTunes, and their live shows have had record-breaking sellouts across the country. Everyone, please give a warm Bill Brunch welcome to Raina and Ashley. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I love that you have cereal. This is yeah. great. Yes. So um, tell us about uh, how you got started with the podcast. Um, I was just obsessed with like talking about relationships and the hellscape of dating and mm -hmm. all the things and wanted to start a podcast and I met Raina and felt like she was the right person to do it with. Yeah. So I was like, do you want to start a podcast? Are you comfortable putting your entire personal and sex life out there, and she was like, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> no problem, absolutely. sign me up. No I think deal. everybody who knows me knows I was like born to just say unbelievably disgusting things, <laughs> really like expose myself yeah. pretty publicly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, then you are at the right table. Yeah. I'm glad to be yeah. here. Yeah. I'm excited. We do that all the time. We welcome Great. you. Back there, we, we were like, can we curse? Oh, absolutely. Like, the internet. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. fine. We How did it. you two meet? We met, um, <laughs> we met in Aruba at, um, <laughs> On, on, the, on the beach, trip. actually, <laughs> at a, uh, a candlelit dinner wow. um, <laughs> next to the ocean, and I sat right across from her at oh this dinner, God. and I was yeah. like, she seems kind of bitchy. I'm gonna make her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's great. And then we, I love we that back. You. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about how you prep for an episode of the pod. So a lot of prep goes into it. We really, um, we take a lot of advice from our audience about what they're looking to talk about, um, what guests are really fun, anybody that we know, or anything we've read recently. Um, and then a whole outline, lots of research. We do a lot of articles and... Yeah, we yeah. actually prep. Yeah, you prep. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Work. some people don't. And you have a wide range of guests. Um, I'm curious who like a dream guest would be for the podcast. The Obamas. Yeah. The oh, Obamas. Yeah. Yes. So Brock, okay. Michelle, if Heard you're watching. First. I'm sure they're watching. They're, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, no, they definitely watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you guys had them on? We've, no, we haven't had them on. They're a little busy, but they're yeah. watching. They well, give us notes after yeah. every show and like what yeah. to improve on. Why yeah. is he even busy? He's not even the president. <laughs> it's, it's an excuse. Um, <laughs> that's oh, one for me. Chelsea Handler's a big, I'm a big fan. Ooh. Oh, um, yeah. Um, yeah, Chelsea Handler would be great. Uh, I listened to Bethany Frankel speak recently, and uh, I'm so inspired. Our girl. Are, we love that. We love these. Uh, has she been on the show? We're trying. We're trying. We're trying. Same. You think, yeah. a, lot, you think Same. a lot of us, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I saw the, the well, photos of everybody that was on this yeah. show right before we came out, and I, I was, I'm a little shaky. I'm never nervous. <laughs> oh, don't oh. be nervous. Julia like, Roberts was sitting right where you were. Yeah. 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 Same. Like, are we the same? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, Julia. Mm -hmm. Well, Girls Gotta Eat in just over a year has become one of the top comedy podcasts on iTunes. So what's it been like seeing it grow over time? It just feels natural, you know? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she's um, confident. <laughs> I am confident, but it's, it's been like a wild ride. But we, you know, we like work hard and we try to be different and think outside the box and get these guests. And I put a lot of work into editing it. And so... It, but still, it's just a great feeling. We get to tour. Like, yeah, we look at each other daily, and we're like, how did this happen? Like, how is this our life? So yeah. yeah, and, like, neither of us have a background in any type of, like, psychology or relationship experts, but um, we so just listen. had our 70th. should listen to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just had our 70th episode today, and we've wow. had such a wealth of guests that I really do feel like we're experts now. We've had all these therapists on and money managers mm -hmm. and just everybody who's been through all these different things mm -hmm. and taking all of their advice. I feel like... We've become experts in this, and it's such a blessing. People email us every day, you've changed my life. And oh. I can't believe it, because like they changed our lives, you know? Oh. Um, it's, yeah, I get, ugh, all I do is cry. <laughs> <laughs> We're still single, though, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that's expert. That's why you're not crying. Yeah. yeah, that's why we're crying. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just had a man to help me be better at my life. Yeah, right? I know. The only. <laughs> and you mentioned you're going on tour, so tell us more about that. Maybe you guys can meet your others on tour? The Obamas? No. Uh, <laughs> I think they're taken. You well, can't really yeah, date the Obamas. We really did kind of start the year with uh, this New York is so terrible to date. We're just going to date on the road. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's kind of worked out. Like Raina, she's like slept with a few exes and <laughs> some guys in different cities. So 
it, we kind of are like have made it happen. Yeah, my dad's watching, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I have all this sex on the road, Dad. Um, <laughs> he's probably uh, proud. He's, he's proud yeah, of all the sex yeah, that I have. Really yeah, I'm having more sex than he is. And you're getting right. to know America. Yeah. Don't put him on blast. Yeah, yeah. You're getting to know America, we really the, people, are you, like the a, cities you go to. Different I mean, dicks in each city. You're, yeah. yeah. So you're doing a lot. 2020, you Just know? Just research. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait for some international dick. Oh my <laughs> God. Are you upset? Are you upset about Euphoria cutting out all those dicks? The show, HBO we, show. HBO. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. what they, they, cut, out, they yeah. cut out 80 dicks from the scene. Yeah. yeah. I feel like 80. you Why might take that as a personal that? attack. <laughs> the no, room. I'm Why not were personally anymore? offended by that. <laughs> okay. Were you offended by I that? I was, are you not? I, I like, like looking at dicks. Like, I like, <laughs> I'll, I don't even watch straight porn. Like, I just don't, I don't want to watch it. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So you're fine with it. Yeah. Yeah. The dick editor. Yeah, unless it's like physically near me. But Raina got a dick pic last week from a former guest that we had on. Whoa. And, and, like, oh, I'm not and I think we have that pic right now. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. And his name uh, was uh, Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> I love um, that And show. she didn't screenshot it. It was like the, we, I mean, it was one of our first fights. It was, so. <laughs> did you not? Know? You didn't it was the, the I didn't. Instagram it was DM. so Indeed. shocking. He was just like, what are you up to today? And I was like, oh, I just got back from this party in Brooklyn. What are you up to? And he said, send me a pic. And I didn't. And yeah. 30, this this is not a person I've even held hands with, okay. to be clear. He's hot, he's hot. Okay. Crazy yeah. hot. So we yeah. with it. Um, but like 30 seconds later, bam, dick pic. And I was like, it was so shocking. What did it look like? It was a nice dick. It was nice. Okay. Okay. Did was you it reply? next to something? Did he what? what? Did he put it next to something? I think it's really funny when fist. people take- I've gotten those. Oh yeah, when right, they're the like- Right, the measurement, like a remote, like a, a water remote, bottle. Remote. And you're like, oh, why, yeah. why? But you're, I'm like, why is it the big remote? Why isn't the Apple TV right. remote? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, was, put it next to the smaller remote. Right. The Roku no. remote. But I, think they, I think they want to prove it's like, look at this big remote <laughs> next yeah. to my penis. I can operate a TV too. And I'm like, too. that reminds yeah. me, I have to pay my spectrum bill. Yeah. <laughs> what if women started doing that if they were like, ooh, look at these titties in reference to a spoon. And you're like, is that is that good? I don't know. Like an apple or something like that. Yeah. As a flat-chested person, I yeah. feel like it's not gonna help. Yeah. Wouldn't this be great for like nipple pics? I was yeah. 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 I'm like, yeah. 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 Look how big your nipple is. I like that people want to like. It's like all about size and measurement. It's very mathematical in a way. Like yeah. let's and you can measure it. Like this is how big my penis is based off this remote. I've gotten yeah. like accessorized dicks. Like I mm. got sunglasses really? one time. Wow. Um, sunglasses, sunglasses on the dick? Yes. Yeah, like wayfarers. Just like I always compare it to like when you go on a cruise and they like make a towel animal and yeah. you come Pinocchio. back in the room and they like accessorize oh. it. Or like a bedazzled I got dick? a bow tie. Ooh. Yeah. A bow tie? Uh, Professional. It was um, really that's kind of classy. Yes. classy. That's a dick on an interview. Yeah. 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 I Seriously. thought it was a little formal. <laughs> to be too formal. It was a little too formal. <laughs> I mean, that's just it was a dick on something dick. casual. Yeah. <laughs> just the jeans and a blazer. We've only been out once. Like, I don't. He wanted the job, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Dress for the job you want. Dress for the job you want, yeah. What is happening? It's a first impression that you'll never forget. Um, <laughs> on that note, you guys both started out in different industries. Like, please leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, we're canceled. Hey, Thanks a lot. Yeah. I don't know how I transitioned from dick to podcast, but yeah. we're gonna try. No. Uh, I, just, I think I just did it. You did yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you so much. It. We're done. Um, so yeah, you came from the culinary world. You're a stand-up. So what was it like transitioning into the podcast? And in, in which ways did, were you prepared for it? In which ways was it surprising? Um, I have a little bit of a background in like radio and TV okay. too. Um, I like the sound of my voice, so you know it was just like a seamless transition. Uh, Raina, I think, is I just give her so much credit. Like, she never did comedy. She was never on a stage before. In our very first live show, we were both like, "What's gonna happen?" and just killed it. Cool. Yeah. I mean, it just, it's felt natural. Thank you. Um, yeah, first time on a stage ever in my life was in front of 350 people at Caroline's on Broadway, which is this unbelievable comedy club. Um, and I was I was like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> um, but the show's been great, and I feel very lucky also to have a partner that uplifts me and supports me, and if I can't, the, I always say like the thing I love about our relationship is the stuff that I'm not good at, she's good at, and we complement each other really well. So um, when we started, it was just like, hey, let's get these mics and let's just start talking, but the format of the show hasn't really changed mm -hmm. really since day one. We do a little intro, we'll do a guest, we joke around a lot. Um, it just, it seemed pretty natural, and we also, again, do our research, we listen to other podcasts, right. we like to see what other people that are good at this are doing, um, and try to also be good at it. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys were also like social media superstars, right? Gurus, yes, icons. We, yes, I don't know the proper name, the title you guys want. Yeah. Raina, you run One Hungry Drew. Yes. How, and that's a food, a travel Instagram. How, what was the situation behind that and how's it like keeping that going? 
with also the podcast and everything? Well, I stopped doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, it's done. Um, so I started this uh, Instagram account about five years ago. And I've, since, I just you love when people quit their dreams. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we love talking about this show. Um, I, I had always had like a background. Oh, I love that photo. Nice. It's a Cheesecake Factory ad. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, oh that's they, an ad. They should have love to the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Hashtag spawn. <laughs> um, I had worked in restaurants. I managed restaurants for Danny Meyer. Mm -hmm. And I was working working like a tech job and I don't know all I had ever spent money on was food basically mm. so I was like I guess I have all these photos like where should I put this Instagram was sort of newer and I was like I guess I'll put these here um no I remember a friend of mine was like you should start like a food Instagram account and I was like what kind of loser start a food Instagram account that's crazy uh and then I don't hate it I love it I I bought a camera I learned how to shoot I built a website I really incorporated as much knowledge as I had about photography and journalism and food into it. And um, through press and things like that is how I met Ashley, like through a press yeah. trip. And then I abandoned that dream and now I have a new dream. I love Better that. dream. <laughs> That's how dreams work. Better. Yeah. And then, and Ashley, so you run Bros Being Basic and mm -hmm. Fashion Dads, really two funny accounts. What was it like, what's the innovation behind those? Um, yeah, Bros Being Basic is a parody account of like, right. men, mimicking the things that women do online. I started in 2014 when basic was like a brand new word. Mm -hmm. It was like the height of the basic movement. <laughs> yeah, and um, the movement. I was just like, what if guys did this stuff? Like hashtag blessed. And now it's kind of more mainstream, but I think I started that at the right time. That was really when, um, and then it, it took off. So, and it's still, you know, it's doing it today. Guys submit photos all day long yeah. and I work with brands and do photo shoots. And that's my room. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's our Yay. friend. That's He's our friend. single and hot. Uh, triple Reese. <laughs> I love you guys yeah. for pulling our ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna love this. this. Tuxedo dick. Yeah. yeah. I wish. Oh, oh God, I wish too. I think about his dick all the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, yeah, and so that was, again, I started with a blog. I had a blog for years, and then I abandoned that as well and just pivoted. <laughs> and I wrote a blog, like, what if guys acted like girls on Instagram? And then that took off, and that was back in the kind of the the BuzzFeed Elite Daily those days when they and they all picked it up and then I was like, let's start this Instagram account. What is Instagram? Yeah. And wow. Here we are. Yeah, here well you, you guys are. are doing such funny and fun stuff. We loved having you. Thank you so <laughs> oh, much for joining us. Thank you. Great. Thank Great. you. <laughs> Everyone make sure to check out Girls Gotta Eat podcasts, live shows, and more at www.girlsgottaeat.com.